everybody. Um, changing it up today. I'm gonna go after some sheep's head. Uh, bite's been pretty good here lately. Uh, gonna go do uh, fish uh, some new pilings and stuff. Gonna hit up Three Mile Bridge. Uh, I've never fished it before for sheep's head, so I'm gonna rest to see how this goes today. So uh, hopefully we catch a few fish today. Um, stay tuned for all the action. Getting a couple little taps right here off this pier finally. Been fishing for about 15, 20 minutes so far, trying to find these fish first. Current's moving out pretty strong, right in the middle of the tide falling. So making it kind of difficult holding on spot, trying to find these fish. Just trying to wait for one to finally hit. So we're using Birds of Prey um, sheep's head jigs and uh, fiddler crabs for bait. So these things work great. It's just trying to find the fish right now is the problem. Those are the first real set of hits that I had. So let's get back on them. Got my buddy Tien over there. He's trying to catch some as well. He hasn't, he had one little hookup, I think it was a red that cut him off on the pilings. And then he's uh, caught a white trout as well. Um, we're having a little bit of a slow start trying to find these fish. Maybe when the sun gets up just a little bit more and maybe the tide slows down, may get a little bit better, hopefully. So we'll see what happens. Well, I just had a fish on. I couldn't tell if it was a white trout or a croaker, but it fell off as I was pulling it over into the kayak, so. Been getting a bunch of little hits. Nothing solid yet feeling like a sheep's head. Starting off kind of slow. See, I've actually got Carolina rig down right there. And then trying the football jig, trying to see which one's going to be working the best. Um, I've honestly had more hits on the football jig, on the Birds of Prey jig. But nothing would feel like a sheep's head. They just dropped that down and started hitting, getting hits again. Ah. Uh. Just had a fish on, think it was a sheep's head. Um, hook pulled though. Thought I had a good hook set on it. But it got a nice little school of fish rolling around right here, thinking maybe some sheep's head moving around. Definitely had a hook up that time. Put another crab on, get back down, do that again. Let's say that fish actually committed to hitting it. on marking a nice school of fish so I think we're finally on something you can see on the screen nice school of fish right there I'm pretty sure that's some sheep's head moving around they're now on the bottom so we'll drop it down all the way to the bottom Let's see if that might pick up one Still can't believe that fish got off. It's finally hooked into a nice fish right here. And he immediately took me into the bridge. I could feel it rubbing and finally broke off. So I had another chance and couldn't couldn't seal the deal. That's how it goes in sheep's head fishing. See there, they're tough. Don't know if it was a sheep's head or could it have even been a red because there's been a few reds caught today. Um, by some other people out here, so let's try it again. So I tried Carolina rig for a little bit, and I was getting a few hits, but I've been having more hits on these birds prey sheep's head jigs. I think this is either a half or three quarter ounce, or well, may even be an ounce. This current's pretty strong, so it's taking a little bit of weight to keep it in one spot. Um, typically, want to try to go with as little weight as possible. See, these sheeps have had really tough mouths and really small mouths. So it's like, as soon as you do get a good hit and feel it on, you really have to set the hook into their mouth to make sure it stays in. Finally got a fish on, feels like it's a good hook set. Haven't seen what it is yet, it was up under there. Kept getting some good wax. Hopefully it's a good sheep's head. Luckily it took me out away from the structure. Uh, 
Uh, redfish. Redfish. <laughs> Looks like he might be a little bit over slot, but still finally got a fish on. If he's gonna make slot, he's gonna be close. Just glad to finally have a fish on, not get cut off. Beautiful redfish. Oh yeah, he's definitely over slot. He's close 30 inches. Finally caught a fish. Makes the trip worth it right here. Not what I'm after, but a nice fish nonetheless. Actually dropped down the weight since uh, the current's not as bad here at the wharf. Um, got it right there at the corner of the mouth. Perfect cook set. There you go. I think that's like an eighth ounce. And he hammered it. Beautiful red. It's still strong. All right. And such a beautiful red. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna get a quick measurement on him just to see. I highly doubt he's legal. Probably 28 or probably about 29, 30 inches if I had to guess. Be nice to take home a red, but should have brought my bump board with me. Actually, he might be slot. He's right on, right on the money. Yep, he's over. Cause he's about 28, maybe even 29. Let's get him released. Go out there and get bigger, big girl. About 29. Nice. So. Huh? I got it. I got it on the GoPro. <sighs> yep. Came back up here to the bridge and uh, just first pier I've hit back up. Uh, it's getting back up here. Had a couple of nice little wax, little hits, but nothing getting on yet. It's been a tough day. Don't know if because the tide's so low and it falling so fast that shut them off. Um, supposed to uh, bottom out just for one o'clock, but it'll probably be off the water by then. Trying one last little ditch effort before we head back to the launch. All right, guys, well, I just got back to the launch. Guys just got there loading up. Um, today didn't pan out the way we thought it was gonna pan out. Uh, conditions seemed like they were gonna be perfect. Uh, calm winds, uh, the tide was falling all morning, um, which may have been part of the problem just because it was moving so fast. Uh, but only had a few hits around the bridge. It got broke off on one, hook pulled on the other. Uh, we went and hit up another little part um, away from the bridge, and I did manage that one uh, 28, 29 inch red, a little bit too big to keep, but um, at least that saved the trip. So, um, gonna come back out here sometime soon again, try it again, see if we can't get some sheep said finally. I've had past, uh, past couple of years, I've had a tough time trying to fish for them, uh, trying to find some better spots. Uh, some of our older ones have been fished out pretty much and uh, they don't produce as well. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you would please like and subscribe to my channel, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.